Okay, I'm going to talk about the basic mod you could do on a 3800 Series 2 with the supercharger. This is probably the first mod you should do, and this is actually one of my favorite mods even though it adds no horsepower. But it's a scan gauge. It's about $240, and what it does is it reads a bunch of different parameters, and the most important one for us is knock retard. Too high of a number, and we chip a piston. People tend to do that by adding too small of a supercharger pulley, which adds too much boost, and there you go, chip a piston. It also does other things like, it reads miles per hour, which is cool because mine only goes to 125. But with these little buttons, you could press it and read two parameters at a time, so that's kind of cool. Read all kinds of stuff. So first mod you should do 240 bucks if you have more cash get a tuner because it does what this does and you could program your own computer my car didn't, didn't come with the oil pressure gauge so added one here I actually only wanted a two gauge pod but they don't sell it for my car so I got one of these cheap air fuel ratio gauges which is useless it's just a light show Mine's not a wide band, so it's just a filler gauge. Alright. Let's open the engine up. Check it, check it out. Now the first thing I wanted when I got my car was to hear the supercharger whine. That's very easy to achieve. All you need to do is replace the intake. Mine's a fender well intake. I bought 4 inch tubing, clamped it on the throttle body, and the filter goes right into the fender. So on Regals, they fit right in. If you pull the, spare, or if you pull the front tire out, you could just cram it in there through, the, um, through here. Yeah, you could just kind of push it in there. On uh, Grand Prix, it's a little harder. There's actually a fender brace in there, so you have to cut that before fitting a filter in. Some other basic mods I've done is wrapping the crossover with header wrap, throttle body heat shield, and a throttle body spacer. The idea is to keep the throttle body cooler. Probably doesn't help much, but you know, it was worth a shot. I also have a bigger alternator pulley and a bigger water pump pulley right there. The idea is to spin them slower so the engine's not working as hard. Probably doesn't do much. It's probably worth like three horsepower, but every little bit counts. Now one of the cheapest mods I've done, and one of my favorite ones as well is this. Solid motor mounts on Grand Prix and Regals. We have these dog bone things right here, and these mounts stock are actually rubber, so your engine actually moves around a lot when you launch your car. So the idea of this is to keep your engine in place so your launches are a lot nicer. If you don't have a tuner, you could upgrade your computer. Most 3800 vendors sell them for 100 bucks very easy to do. It's held in place by these two bolts and that's it. Last year my upper intake gaskets went out because GM puts plastic in there. So what I did was I replaced my upper intake gaskets with um, aluminum ones and while I was there I actually got an intercooler. I got the cheapest one. It's just a half size intercooler that ZZP sells. It was only $550, so it was an easy install since I had to be in the engine anyway. 3.2 inch supercharger pulley. There's the intercooler pump relay, and here's the hose from the intercooler right here. And here's the other hose, and they're going into the fender and into the pump. Okay. 
Here's the intercooler fill tube, the heat exchanger, and I actually removed the fog lights because the hose is right here for the intercooler. I put some aftermarket fog lights right here. So, there you go. Other mods you can't see are ported manifolds, my 3 inch downpipe, no U bend, and a high flow muffler. All in all, I spend le about uh, 1100 or so on this car. And it's decent, it's decently quick. It's a little better than stock, and I didn't spend too much money. There's a lot of great 3800s here on YouTube that are super fast, way faster than my car, so. I don't know, maybe the more experienced guys could chime in and add some comments and give their insight on these cars. I basically made this video because I know not everyone's on the forums or some people don't like forums or the attitudes other people have on forums, so there you go. For the new people in the 3800 world, I hope this video helps a little bit. Feel free to ask questions. Since our car isn't supported as much as like Civics and Camaros, what I do is I try to spread my money around and support all the vendors that make 3800 parts. So I hope you guys do the same.